I'd like to briefly review the state of the art in biofeedback and neurofeedback equipment. The GSR2 is uh, what I showed you earlier. It's been our most popular consumer product and the one we developed in 1976. In the mid-70s, we introduced professionally developed consumer products to work with the GSR2 and to guide users in addressing the problems seen here. There's a long list of them there. These problems inclu include uh, CD instructions and, instruction and relaxation exercises and workbooks, which are written by clinicians who are experts in their field. Over the years, we sold over 500,000 of these, mostly through programs, uh, through catalogs like Sharper Image and American Express. However, the principal focus of our business is in the medical fields. Our products um, monitor up to 40 channels of activity you know, through the different inputs here. And, um, we, and they, we have several different configurations. This is, this is, you've seen these two. This, these are five, eight, and 10 channel data acquisition and biofeedback system. This is a little home trainer, uh, EMG, the muscle trainer. And this is um, ProComp 2, it's a two channel version of this. This is often used uh, in schools for attention deficit disorder. As you've seen, our Biograph Infinity software is very sophisticated in its ability to do biofeedback and acquire accurate data. It's also easily customized um, and all control, everything is controlled by the user's physiology. Here, for example, the goal is to put together a puzzle. One of the fun features uh, of this screen is that you can actually have your physiology control the different musical instrument. So your heart rate, well, in this case, we actually have it's your brainwave activity. So if, we, in, if you get the ideal activity up for you know, the S sensory motor rhythm activity, which is what you want for an ADD kid to uh, enhance, you want them to decrease the sleepy activity, the theta, and to decrease the muscle activity, and then all three instruments will play. So they can actually sit there and you'll hear the guitar play, then the, music, the, the piano, and then the bass, and back and forth. DVD feedback allows users to control uh, uh, and playback actions in a DVD. We can change the size, the, make, it, make it blurry, etc. And um, it, it's, we can, the kid can bring his own, you know, his own movie with him and then control that movie. So it makes it uh, more rewarding. So I'd like to do um, a, a live demonstration now with our very brave volunteer, Harriet Wiener. She, when she heard I was doing it, she says, I want to do it. I want to be the guinea pig. So... Here she is, go ahead. <laughs> Harriet is hooked up to our um, ProComp Infinity system. It's a wireless system and she can actually walk around with this and we can monitor all of her physiology. Once we get going, I'll have her stand up and we'll do a few little exercises. Maybe you better stand here so you can hear me. So Harriet has on her fingers, she has, can you hold up your hand? She has a blood volume pulse sensor for heart rate. She's got a skin conductance uh, sensor, the two, two black ones, which pick up the sweat gland activity, and a temperature sensor on the index finger. And on her arm, middle of her arm, you've got uh, an EMG sensor. No, on right here, that's picking up the muscle activity. And then around her waist, she has a respiration sensor. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a really embarrassing question now. You ready? <laughs> Okay, this is a skin, see the skin conductance response? Okay, Harry, think of something that really, let's see, what can I ask you? This should be really interesting. Hey, look at this, she's relaxing. <laughs> so this is the breathing, see the breathing, right? Take a deep breath, relax, there you go. And this is the um, blood volume pulse, this is the heartbeat, and her heart rate's at 117 beats per minute. Breathing rate is seven, oh, this is very good, seven breaths per minute, that's nice and relaxed and the skin conductance is low, and her hand temperature is quite low. And um, tense your, your arm muscle, make a, make a muscle. See over here? The muscle activity increasing and decreasing. So we can monitor all this physiology, and at the end we can review this. Do you have some other screens? Uh, oh, that's, okay, that's a big skin conductance. Okay, Harriet, take a deep, deep, deep breath. Deep, deep, deep. Okay. Now that's not, that's not really a stress response, but it's more of the physiological response showing that um, even a deep breath changes your skin conductance level. So, so if I come over, 
and I, and I, and I kissed her. Be careful. <laughs> I just touched her neck. You notice that? Look at that. <laughs> wow, you're really taking off there. Okay. But you see, what's good about Harry, she actually, you relax quickly. It's good. You're actually, you recover quickly, and that's the important thing. One of the, one of the theories about, about hypertension is that um, small stresses during the day increase your stress level over and over, and your blood pressure goes up, 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 up. And the idea is to, as I was talking about the self-calibration, say, gee, I'm above a three or four. I've got to bring myself back down to a two or three. So it's becoming aware of that stress level. You have another screen? Okay, this is your muscle tension. Now tense your muscle. There you go. You can relax. There you go. Relax completely. Bring it down. Okay, just drop your arm to your side. There you go. Notice how it went down into the green. Now tense it again. So it's very, very sensitive. And that's, that's the important thing when it comes to stroke rehab is that we can measure very, very small amounts of activity. So even though you don't see any activity at first, you'll be able to pick it up on the screen. And see the guy, he smiles when you get, your, get below the... <laughs> a final word uh, from the book Beyond Biofeedback by Alice Green, a psychologist and wife of Elmer Green we saw earlier with the Indian Swami. Why did biofeedback prove helpful in the treatment of so many and varied disorders? Suddenly I realized that it isn't biofeedback that's the panacea. It's the power within the human being to self-regulate, self-heal, and rebalance. Biofeedback does nothing to the person. It is a tool for releasing that potential. Thank you. Thank you.